Hello then, welcome to Agri Simulator 2013 with me, Stocker Gloss. How are you? Uh, a few things changed. Um, I've actually started a new map, the USA map. I made a, a few derp um, options in, in, in the other map, and also the map kind of uh, derped out on me as well. So the USA map seems a bit more stable. Um, I can actually put the animals in the shed, and it works. So uh, <laughs> that's always a bonus. And um, I'm not actually selling the animals, so we'll just wait for the map to load up. Uh, I've bought a uh, gecko. Now I realise that the gecko E series has these little mountain things here, so we can use it as a front loader. So that's the reason why I couldn't use the front loader on the other one. Um, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, you're going to see pigs. There we go. We've got some pigs. Now the pigs need grass. Uh, I've given. Uh, a straw bale, but as you can see, they need grass bales as well. Um, I've given them a bit of food. They're starting to eat the food, but we need grass, so we need to do some mowing soon. Now, as you can see, the plane is a bit dirty. The, uh, the the tractor's a little bit dirty. I've actually, well, when I say I, um, I managed to hire somebody to show me how to plow uh, this field, and uh, we've got this nice field here. All played, ready to go. Now try and work out which one, yeah, you know, which one I done, and uh, which one the actual computer done. I can't remember his name. So the computer done all this, and the only thing I touched was this one side here, which you can see is just <laughs> totally messed up. So I should have let him uh, finish the whole field. But that's what a proper played field looks like. <laughs> just a little bit bigger than uh, the old field, but not too much. So what we're going to do this episode is we're going to uh, cultivate this field and we do need to get some, some grass bales sorted So for the animals. Um, and I'd, well, There's so much I want to do. I want to go to the market. Wow, that's a bit weird. Um, I want to go to the market and buy myself another couple of cows. One to keep in the cow shed and one out here with a bull. And I'm hoping that will um, produce baby cows. Oh, nah. Talking about the cows. There's our two lovely cows. How you doing? Shrink their head. They produce more milk. And uh, how much milk? 15 out of 50. That's full of grass. I don't know how I've done that, but it is. Um, we've got hay bale and straw bales. And they got some food. There we go. So the cows are okay. We could just do with a couple, you know, we need to fill pretty much all this up. We can't, oh yeah, I dropped a bale and I can't get this straw bale out. It won't let me uh, take it out. It's stuck. So, uh, we'll leave that in there. Um, well that's pretty much all I've done, really. So we need to go to the shop and buy ourselves a do do cultivator. Now if you can remember one cultivator it worked better than the other and uh, I can't remember which one now. Well we don't need anything that big obviously. Um, was it this one? I can't remember. Or was it this one? I think it was the other one. I think that one there is the better cultivator. So we'll, we'll buy this one anyway. Eight and a half thousand. How much money have we got? Are you shout at me? Something to work with. Um, no, not that one. That one. Seven hundred thousand we got left. And as you can see, we're we're actually out of grass in the. Uh, well, it's showing five ninety, but we we haven't got that. I'm just showing five night in the stable as well. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there with the grass. Alright, let's jump in our tractor. And we need to find a place to Where's our barn where we actually do, you know, clean the uh... ah there it is over there. So what we do is we start sticking all the information uh all the information, all the uh all the extensions in here. So I think this Kansas, this USA Kansas map, I think it's got a bit more uh, bit more room. Let's lower that. 
Now, I'm not a big fan of this Gecko tractor, to be honest, but it's uh, it can you it can be used as a front loader, so I'm, I'm fairly happy about that. When we start getting into bales and stuff, that's the reason why I bought this, and it was fairly cheap. Okay, let's connect that to that. Whoa! Oh, can you drive the tractor? No. I press C by accident then. <laughs> okay. Now the only thing I do wish is that the uh, textures are slightly different. Now it seems a bit dark, I know, but it must be getting quite late now. Uh, no, it's ten past three in the afternoon. <laughs> But hopefully the the lighting problems are uh, are sorted for you peeps. Now that, those yellow sticks you can see there, that's somebody else's land. So we need to be a bit careful because you can get fined for actually going on to somebody else's land. Right then, let's lower. Let's unfold that. And then... And that should be cultivating the land lovely. Now we've done this before. The cultivating. And uh Yeah, seems to be working perfectly well. So I didn't want to do too much off screen because I know how much you guys enjoy what you know watching these videos, so and this just feels a lot more stable than than the other um, the other map. So I wanted to share this with you as I was doing it. And uh, I'll do uh, I'll do a bit more of this, and then what I'll do is I'll um, I'll show you how to hire somebody, and you can see uh, what the process is of that and. See if he does it any better than me. I'm sure he will. It's just the different textures. It looks amazing, but there's no colour. At least in Farming Simulator, you can see that the colour changes slightly from ploughed to uh, cultivated to sown to fertilised. It's quite difficult to see any colour change in this, which is um, a bit of a pain. Oh, I've um, I bought uh, Sim City as well. I know a lot of you are waiting for me to play that game, so hopefully you should see a few videos of that fairly soon. And uh, also Flight Sim X. I should be uh, uploading some some videos of that this weekend as well. Okay, you can't see a different in textures from cultivating to. Uh, Plowed. All right, let's get uh, our worker. Hopefully, his name's Ewan. It wasn't before. It was Sebastian, I think his name was. But uh, yeah, what I done last time was I had to take the actual tractor to the tractor um, shop and see w see if we can sort that out. Yeah, this thing's so slow. That's a uh, full speed. Come on. And it does cost a bit of money as well to fire your worker, um, so it's not not a good idea to uh, to keep laying them off. Uh, not this one, the next one. Whoa. Okay, I parked him here. I got out. And let's see if this works. So you open up the administration menu. And where's the tractor's just behind there, isn't it? Okay, so what we need to do is go to go to the uh, the 
guy icon. Um, I don't know what's going on with my. Are you showing a hire a new worker? Yes. Sebastian, there we go. So you got Sebastian. What we want him to do is go to. And kind of click on the tractor. And they can see like 36 meters, 45, and you can see like a trail of where he's going. And another menu should pop up shortly saying that. Uh, asking you what you want to do with him. I hope. There we go. So the gecko E33. So you want him to. Uh, join. Oh no, you just joined him. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I understand. So click on Sebastian. Select the field. This is where we select the field to be cultivated, which is this one. Field 1. Start. So hopefully he should be cultivating this. So if we could join him up. He's on his way. This is our new worker, Sebastian. I'm gutted they got rid of Ewan and Zachary. If there's a way of renaming Zach, uh, Sebastian, then please let me know. Whoa. What are you doing? Turn left. Turn left. The field's there. Just There's a field. It's literally just Sebastian. Sebastian! Turn left, bro. Turn left now. Where are you going? Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's just gonna go straight in the middle and then start cultivating. Oh, fair play. So there we go. That's how we get a worker to uh, to work. So Sebastian's going to uh, cultivate this whole field for us, which is brilliant. And what we're going to do is we're going to go get another another tractor. And we're going to start cutting some grass. Doo -doo. So go into the the shop. Uh, let's see what, see what we need to cut grass anyway. We, it's an extension. And it should be mow. There we go. So just need a front and back. And, all, and when we're going to pick them up, do we need tethers and stuff? I don't know. Um, what's a liner? Yeah. To spread the grass or hay on the ground. Uh, so I think that, that tether here, I think that... Um, Turns the grass into hay, and this puts it into rows, so we can collect it with a forage wagon. Got it. Okay, so we need, yeah, we need a tractor. It's gonna be fairly expensive. This. It needs to be done. I don't know whether to buy the combine first and the cedar, and see how much money we got left after. Uh, yeah, we better add. So is that the cheapest cedar at seventy k? No. So what's the difference between that? That one, uh, rapid sowing, with or without prior soil tillage. No. Yeah. So we'll buy that cedar. And we'll also buy... Not the cedar. We want a harvester. Not extension, but tractor. No. That's just going to be the fronts, isn't it? It's not going to be the actual... Combine. There we go. Well, that's a forger. 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 This isn't. That's got a pipe. Yep. So that's the one that we want. The L52. So we'll buy that one. And we'll buy the extension for it. Well, I think it's called the harvest, isn't it? Uh, classic header. L52 upwards, so that's one that we want. Is that just a corn? Vermaison corn. No, we want...
No, I think it is the amazing corn one, isn't it? No, I'm sure it isn't. That one. I was in a grain with a combine by the gecko. That's the one that we want. There we go. So we bought that. I hope. Let's go check. Do do. This music's so soothing. <laughs> Okay, we probably can't buy it because this is in the way. So let's move the combine officer. Alright, that's moved. do with another tractor now to move the cedar before you can buy anything else um, tractor little Massey Ferguson 52k I'm looking at the, the power you could do with a nice big one like that but that's a lot of money the fens are quite expensive I love it with the red wheels Oh wow, look at that one, black. Yeah. Oh, 390 horsepower. Yeah, 262 grand. Maybe one day. So you got the end range of geckos. And then when you get through here, you've got the A, which is the bigger one. And then you've got the E. And these are the E, the ones that you can actually connect to the front loader. Um, and I think that's it for tractors. Oh no, you got the Vultures. And they're, uh, they're fairly expensive, what they are. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to buy a little Massey. Let's just go back. Let's see what sizes. Uh, we got uh, 69 horsepower, 84, 102, 167 for 100 grand. Yeah. There we go. So this is going to be our, our powerful tractor for a while. That's better. This thing's a bit quicker. So as Sebastian's starting to get that of the field ready, we we'll load this up full of our uh, our seed. Uh, connect that to that. Uh, is there a PTO that we need to connect? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, if you want to know where things are, um, I could take you to the actual barn where we uh, where we get all the goodies from. It's this one here. Connected to this. It took me a while to find it. I was running around like like mad trying to find where we keep all the uh, all the seeds. But it's just through here. There we go. So we're going to do corn. No, we're going to do wheat. Because wheat is worth more than corn. So what we do is we come over here, put that bit by the wheel, and it should snap in. There we go. It's going to fill up. So let's fill this up with wheat. I don't know. I think you'll agree. This thing's, this map does seem a bit, uh, a bit more stable than the previous one. Which have you got in at the moment? 140. Well, we might as well fill him. Don't know why he keeps jumping like that. Weird. I think it's three more. 
What's that? 300? Yep. Two more. It's nice knowing that the cultivating's being done by Sebastian, you know. Oh, we can even hire another worker and get this sewing done, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> we do need to fertilise as well. Um, how is uh, Sebastian doing? If you go into the C menu, you should be able to see what he's doing. Okay, he's not even... Uh, we've done a little bit there and a little bit here. Yeah, it's going to be a while. It did take ages to, to play that field, to be fair. It's not the quickest in the world. But what, what we might do is swap him over to the Massey, and the Massey might be a little bit quicker for him. A bit more powerful. Um, Alright, so we've got this ready. Let's put that down here. I'll just park him in here for the time being. So I realise um, I messed up a little bit in the previous map. Uh, I think I, I started to, um, s you know, harvest the field before it was even ready. <laughs> but uh, I learnt my lessons there. Hence the reason, one of the reasons why I wanted to start a new map is it's a learning curve for me as well, peeps. And I'm glad that you guys have got my back. Right. So what we need now is a first. Hang on, let's just check how much money we've got. 372 grand. So what we need now is a fertilizer extension. Uh, fertilize. Okay. We're going to go for that one. Let's load this one up. So we're just getting this all ready. Um, why isn't that connecting? There we go. PTO to PTO. Brilliant. It magically extends. Okay. Now the only th problem with this map is, look where the uh, the manure is. It's a uh, little bit of a pain to get to. We have to move the other tractor. Whoa, wrong way, wrong way. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Well, let's go move the uh, the old tractor. Yeah! Now this reminds me of Historical Farming Simulator. It's exactly the same. It's not very quick, but it's, uh, it's a piece of history, isn't it? I think we'll park it. I don't know where we're going to park it. We'll park it next to our house. I think that's our house. It's got a satellite dish. This could be our... Uh, this could be my our pimp my ride tractor. Yeah, we, we're going all uh, old school. Do, 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 do. And there's an old drawbar and a box that you always start with in Historical Farming Simulator. But I don't think there's much need for it now. Okay, is that filling up? Yep. Beautiful. Alright, that's full. Well, I suppose we can go fertilise now, can't we? While he's uh, cultivating. It wouldn't hurt.
Right, let's start on this end that I started. Um, let's turn this on. Okay, L to activate. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> oh, see, I should never be, never should never be in charge of a player because this is what happens. Sebastian had to uh, help me out big time. Yeah, this tractor's not very powerful at all. Thought it would be a bit more powerful, but... And the texture's changed slightly. As you can see, it's slightly darker, but not enough that you can... Because when you uh, come to sew, it, it looks exactly the same. shop here. Uh oh. Whoa. I thought you can go right through the bushes. <laughs> Obviously not. See, you can already see. I, I can I turn the lights on? Is it K? Yeah, I remembered. That's the back light. That's the front light. There we go. Do, 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 do. I can't believe I've got two tractors working on this little field. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Let's turn that off. Hopefully we're giving it a good cover of uh, manure, of muck. Now what I don't understand is how the muck goes from the cow shed into the actual um, into the muck gatherer pit. Does that make sense? Hopefully we do. I don't know if we actually need to do anything about that. Or it just... D whoa, Sebastian! Slow, stop! Whoa, whoa! Sebastian, I'm here. Yo, Sebastian, stop! Please, stop! Jesus! Sebastian! God, when he's determined to do something, he just does it, doesn't he? Wow. Okay, I'm going to start from this end. Well, there you go. That's the AI for you. AI is out to get me, no matter what game I play. They just want to see the end of me. Do, 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 do. I do love the music in this game. I think fertilizer is definitely better when you've uh, actually cultivated the land before. It's a lot more smoother. How much have we got left in our tank? Yeah, we've got over half. We should be okay. Do, 
Now I did say I wasn't going to be skipping a lot in this game, so I, I still holds true. Um, there's a little bar at the bottom you can slide across if you find it a bit boring. Um, but I like to. Uh, oh, I am going to be showing everything that I do on this farm, just because it's more hands-on than it uh, in farming sim. Hagenstead. I miss my wind farm. Or wind turbine. Da, da. I'm staying away, Sebastian. He's nuts. He's crazy. <laughs> wow, he's got issues. Well, he must have issues. He's working for Stock of Gloss. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Right, I'll do one more pass. And then uh, I will leave it there for today. But yeah, it's just a bit of an update video to let you know that I've changed to the Kansas map. Uh, the, the animals are back. I haven't sold my animals or anything. And uh, we got a worker, Sebastian. He's uh, He's really helpful, but he's a bit nuts. So we just gotta be a bit careful of him. He's uh they call him Psycho Sebastian, uh in the in the pubs around here. Yeah, he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. <laughs> uh, only on here it would happen. But uh yeah, when I come back this field will be fertilized and I know I said I wasn't gonna skip a lot, but there's nothing else that needs to be done at the moment. So Sebastian's going to finish off the cultivating. I'm going to finish off the fertilising. And we'll be straight back. So my name is Soccer Gloss. This is Agricultural Simulator 2013. Hagenstead. And uh, ciao for now.